Coronation Street's Roy Cropper is currently serving time in prison after being wrongly accused of murdering Lauren Bolton. Roy Cropper appears to be in grave danger as a major villain returns next week on Coronation Street. Roy is currently serving time in prison for the murder of Lauren Bolton. Lauren went missing earlier this year, with the police concluding she had been killed. The last person to see Lauren alive, Roy ended up as the police's primary suspect as the evidence mounted against him. He was arrested for her murder and later charged. The cafe owner has been struggling behind bars and has refused to leave his cell. In upcoming scenes, Nina tells Stu she's concerned for Roy as he won't speak to anyone or leave his cell. Later, a fellow inmate named Roscoe, enters Roy's cell and frightens him, sending his chessboard flying. A bemused Roscoe ends up leaving him to it. In a bid to lift Roy's spirits, Evelyn suggests to him that they start a book club while he's in prison. Roy's pleased to have something to look forward to as he continues life behind bars. But his happiness is short-lived when Griff Reynolds returns. As he returns to prison, Griff tells the guard it's good to be back in Weatherfield Nick. Viewers will remember Griff's arrival on the Cobbles in 2022. He was a far-right extremist who began grooming Max Turner. He has a connection to Lauren as her father, Reese Bolton, was a member of Griff's gang. Griff used Lauren in his ploy to recruit Max into the gang. In January 2023, Griff and his gang created an explosive device and attempted to use the bomb against the community. Thankfully, Max and Lauren were able to alert people to the danger and there were no casualties. The extremist was eventually arrested by undercover police detective Spider Nugent. Griff is likely to set his sights on Roy when he discovers they are in the same prison. Could the notorious villain be involved in Lauren's disappearance and be the key to setting Roy free?